For today's lesson, we're going to be looking at writing expressions. Now, the last time, we found out how to evaluate expressions, and that's when we were given an expression with a variable, so something like 2 times x plus 3 minus 1, and evaluating was just solving the expression. Today, we're going to be given something that's kind of like a word problem, and we're going to find out how to take the word problem and write an expression using it. So let's look at our first sentence here. Five more than twice a number. Now when I read through these, I want little key words to pop out in my mind because it's going to help me write the expression. If it tells me to find a product, I know it's going to be multiplication. If it mentions the sum, it's going to be addition. If it says anything about the difference, it'll be subtraction. And if it mentions a quotient, I know that it's going to be division. So I'm just going to pay careful attention to all these sentences. Now back to the first one. Five more than twice a number. That five more part, I'm already thinking that it's going to have addition in it. And since it said twice a number, I'm thinking that's going to be multiplication. And then I'm going to have a variable and have to multiply it by two. So let's write this out as an expression. Five more than twice a number. Well, it's going to be two times my variable x because it only says a number. It doesn't actually give me that number. And since it's five more, I want to add five to it. So to write this expression, it ends up being two x or two times x plus five. Let's look at the second one. The sum of 2 and a number to the fourth power. So just like I told you before, that keyword sum pops up. So I know that this is going to have addition. And it's telling me a number to the fourth power. So I'm going to come up with a variable. And I'm going to put it to the fourth power. So I'm going to do that right now. A number to the fourth power. I don't know what the number is because they didn't tell me. So I will make it an x to the fourth power, that part's already been taken care of. So now it says the sum of two and a number to the fourth power. So two, and since it's the sum, I do addition, it ends up being two plus x to the fourth power. Now let's look at two more. Now my next two problems, I'm gonna do the same thing as I did in the first two problems. I wanna look at for those key words such as quotient, product, difference, sum, times, multiply, anything that's going to help me write my expression. So this third sentence says three times, that should be my keyword there, three times the difference, there's another key, of a number and two. So they didn't give me the number yet, so I'm going to put it down as an x. And since it's the difference, it's going to be subtraction. I know it's 2, so I end up with x minus 2, and I want to multiply it by 3. So simply, 3 times x minus 2. If we look at the bottom one, 4 decreased by the quotient. There's two tips there, quotient and decreased. Decreased means it's going to be subtraction. Quotient means there's going to be some division. So 4 decreased by the quotient of a number and 7. So 4 is being decreased by something. So it will be 4 minus the quotient of a number and 7. A number is always going to be x. And since I'm dividing, what am I dividing by? 7. It ends up being 4 minus x divided by 7. 